There is but one essential symbol connected with the guardians of the Emerald Covenant. The secret word, the secret name, the all-seeing eye, and which is characterized by the three rays of light thus depicted. The symbol is generally termed Inad Sifrin, the secret sign, and the expositions of its meaning are legion. It defines Source, God, with the diversity of the unnameable, the infinite prime creator, the divine grid programmer, and all of its manifestations. It sets forth this symbol that you see, the rays, the three rays of light, or referred to as the Awan in Emerald Covenant circles. But it defines source as the creator, the redeemer and destroyer, all encapsulated in one um, energy throughout the omniverse. Puts us in mind, leads us back to Apollo and Hercules in Greek mythology, or more accurately to the trinity of Hinduism, Brahma, Vishnu, and Shiva, which Brahma represents the creative power in nature, Vishnu, the redeeming power, and Shiva, Siva, the destroying power. And we read in the Sifranach Eat Bred that this Awan, these rays of light, these three aspects of source, is the Awan, termed by us in the Emerald Covenant as Awan, or the Muse, the Holy Spirit. It's referred to, but it's this concept. And you can use these rays of light and symbols or rituals of invocation of inviting the creative aspect of source to invoke your intentions, your energies to connect your third dimensional self with your higher self and you essentially would find yourself a spot in nature oriented towards the sun if the sun is available if it's if it's at night orient towards where the moon is located but essentially the invocation the in, the invitation of those creative higher aspects of your higher self connected to source and you would essentially intone each of these lines, these rays of light for an invocation, for inviting energies as opposed to a banishing where you're banishing all negative intentions from your, in, your area, your, your intention. But there are three sounds associated with each of these rays of light and they're we, we know them as vowel sounds, E, ah, O, and to banish all negativity from your intention, from your, from your grid, your personal grid, ley line, your personal pyramid of light, you simply raise your hand, let's say we're in the sunlight, we're going to banish all negativity from our pyramid of light our light grid and you would fix your eyes on the sun raise your hands to the sun and intone for banishing negativity e and then raise again ah raise again oh and then the last time it's a combination of all three E -a -o. And thus, at that point, you have banished all negativity from your pyramid of light. And at that point, you want to invite in a connection to source or connection with your guides, your spirit guides, your angels, whatever 
culturally appropriate term you are resonate with. This is all resonance, but this is meant to for members of the Emerald Covenant to be able to work to banish dark cabal, artificial intelligence, hive mind, nefarious system agents, and their intentions all implants, black magic spells as such. But that that banishing using the rays of light is as I demonstrated. And to invoke connection once you've cleared your area of all neg negativity, it's reversal. You raise your hands and it's oh looking at the sun or moon raise your hand again ah e and then the fourth last one is oh ah e and at that point you have made your connection your intention has been empowered with your source connection but it's vitally important to understand the connection between vocal sounds vibration uh, intention um, but movement with your body with connection understanding what these these three rays of light use as a banishing ritual invocation ritual um, and it's all dependent on you know the order of the sounds and your intention but this is essentially meant to provide a working some tools for your you know for your energy work and it's um it's vitally important that you begin to understand that all is energy where your attention goes energy flows um, all is mental the universe is mental thoughts are vibrations thoughts it's very very important that you begin to master your energy and to take it seriously uh, if you have to get a few weird looks from people uh, you know because you're doing something like raising your hands and in making intonations vowel intonations well that's part of your self-empowerment that's part of you setting yourself apart um, this emerald covenant covenant and the bringing of heaven to earth to the new earth of, of bringing our divine intentions to manifestation um, you're just gonna have to kind of uh, do your own thing it's almost like a, uh, a hermitage you're you kind of you're going the solitary path you know if you have to break away from people in your environment your third dimensional reality that don't necessarily are on the same path of you share the same beliefs well then think of yourself as a her hermit um, and you have a mission a divine mission so the practice of uh, hermitage of the heart embraces the whole of life and there are some guidelines though that you might want to think about setting up and following the maintenance of a home altar you know a morning prayer a morning ritual um, for example I, I I'm always greeting the Sun uh, oriented towards the east I, the Sun lights come directly through my window uh, I have a, a little sort of ritual that I do involving a hot very hot bath um, that's all part of my morning ritual oriented towards my home altar and but you know do do something before you go to bed as well that's sort of personal to you it doesn't have to be elaborate but it's just setting your intentions before you um, s settle down for the night and go into that sleep state which a lot of a lot happens in your sleep state so set your intentions to, uh, you know set your intentions to your subconscious mind and you know don't just take this lightly but your energy and your well-being all this stuff is a uh, the more that you structure it and, and pay attention to it the more positive returns you'll have in your life and you'll see change you will manifest change especially when you um, this invocation sphere of protection using the rays of light that's another way to look at it but it's a sphere of protection ritual 
you're doing that when you're um, creating boundaries, you're banishing negativity, um, and then you're bringing in, you're inviting in your higher guides, your uh, channeling energy from your source, connected um, heart chakra soul, and so sphere protection. Take all this stuff serious. Um, because there's a lot of things uh, out there working against uh, our um, ascension. There's a lot of uh, elements competing for our attention and, and don't necessarily want the best for us uh, humans. Uh, especially if you are uh, been identified as a sort of a light worker, uh, you know, indigo or star seed, a light, you know, however you identify yourself, but if you realize the um, the dead end road of the artificial intelligence, high mind, digital matrix. Uh, you know, if you're living your life in a self empowered manner, then you become a target. People don't like that, especially those members of the Illuminati, Dark Cabal, Deep State. They want everybody watching the lamestream fake news and, you know, uh, uh, dependent on the medical establishment, uh, you know, all that. No, you don't need any of that. You need structure intent you need sunlight and t and t treat your genetic vehicle as the temple that it is that, that it is the container for your divine consciousness and to hit that subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up and stay tuned for further instructions from the umbanda new earth ashram for compassion and strength and we are allied with the emerald covenant and guardians of the emerald order Namaste, Namaskaram.